morning guys welcome to a realistic week in my life while i'm eating my breakfast i want to do some journaling i got this like new journal and yeah i only started filling it out a couple of days ago so i'm gonna do some journaling and then i think i'm gonna read a bit um of this book so it's by this author Toshi Kazu Kawaguchi, a Japanese author, and it explores the age-old question, what would you change if you could travel back in time? Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say. As you can see, I just finished doing some. Oh, that's bright. Um, doing some journaling and a much needed meditation, which was really nice. I also did some yoga in bed. Anyways, um, in my journal, I kind of like wrote about some basic healthy habits I need to start incorporating into my daily routines again because i haven't been working out as as consistent as i like to be i haven't been drinking like enough water and i also just like i don't know i've been i've just been so busy and i haven't had enough time to just like actually focus on myself and i know for me when i don't do all those basic healthy habits i just go into like a depressive slash like i just basically get a mental breakdown do you know what i mean like anyways i'm going to spend the rest of the night by myself i'm gonna start reading a new book um it's actually by cassandra claire it's what's this one it's this one lady midnight um, but yeah, I'm gonna chill. My room's very cozy right now, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that in the real suspense Feel super.
super anxious this morning like I don't know my heart is just <laughs> beating really fast and I can't breathe properly and it's really making me more anxious but I'm just gonna not focus too much on it and I know that it will pass um, but yeah I'm gonna do a workout and hopefully that will make me feel better myself back when I was gymming. I'm using this app called Strong. So this is the workout. I've got some squats, dumbbell sumo squats, lunges, Romanian deadlifts and stair master but I don't have a stair but we do have a spin bike so I'm probably gonna go on that. But let's get on with the workout but first I am going to put some music on. workout it reminded me of like when I used to be a gym junkie like I'm telling you if you go on my Instagram or like even go back to some of my YouTube old you older YouTube videos you would know that like I used to go to the gym like I'm telling you five sometimes even six times a week but yeah I'm definitely going to start working out more like doing strength training because I forgot how good it makes you feel like I already can tell that I'm gonna be sore tomorrow not lying at all like I'm gonna be so sore for the next three days hello I am coming at you on this very fine Thursday in bed it's around 3 in the afternoon and I've basically just spent like most of the day reading. I started reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. This isn't my book. This is Ryan's sister's book that I'm borrowing from her because I didn't realize that the Cassandra Clare books that I was reading, there's like six books prior to that so there's like different series I don't know if that makes any sense but I am waiting to get them off Facebook marketplace because I tried reading them on my phone like on Kindle and I just like absolutely hate it I like having something physical like a book like this to hold on to so I started reading this last night and I am actually surprisingly enjoying it I actually read this book i think sometimes last year and i stopped reading it i don't know why i think it was my first time reading fantasy um and i just like couldn't get used to it but now that i've been reading fantasy it's easier for me to get into this like sort of books but yeah i would rate it maybe like a six out of ten at the moment I'll give you an update once I finish it. No, I didn't exercise today because I am so sore. 
I told you yesterday I'd be sore like bro my hamstrings and my glutes and my upper back is so sore so I'm literally like in bed also tried editing but like I I just don't have the energy oh my gosh <laughs> juicy ass mangoes look how refreshing they look um, but I just came back from the reservoir I went with Ryan as part of our like date thing because every Friday we go for a date basically which has been really nice I just want to say that if you are going through the same thing where you feel like you've just been like stuck in a rut or you just feel really gross you know you get into that like depressive episode or like you just have very bad mindset I would say the biggest tip I would give you is literally to get off social media and I'm not kidding like social media you just go on it and you just like compare yourself to everyone and especially when you're in that negative like space and you go onto social media and you see everyone doing these amazing things someone's out of vacation someone's in freaking Europe like you're just gonna feel so much worse about yourself so I would suggest to just take some time off or maybe just not go on your phone as much and pick up like a book or get into a hobby that you enjoy whether that's painting drawing or like um, you know crocheting or even just doing anything other than going on your phone because that never ends well especially for me and one of the other things that I would say helps a lot too is going outside you know just being out in nature and just like breathing in some fresh air and also just swimming swimming just always heals you like I just it's just that feeling you just like you just like earthing you're just grounding you're just surrounded by nature and the water and everything and this weekend I'm actually going to the coast I don't know if I mentioned it beginning of the video but yeah and I'm gonna be spending my time all weekend at the beach just reading so like my heart is gonna be very very full I'm already feeling so much better compared to how I was feeling beginning of the week I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your healthy habits are, some of the non-negotiables that you must do in order to basically stop you from <laughs> getting a mental breakdown. For me, it's definitely getting lots of sun, spending time in nature, exercising and also less social media. Um, and I will see you guys uh, next Monday. I'm currently trying to experiment whether I want to post every Sunday or every Monday. We will see. But anyways, I will see you next week in another video and I hope you have a lovely day or night whenever you're watching this. Bye!